grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and from our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. Slavery. That's what our gospel lesson is all about. And slavery is a very, well, what should we say, an uncomfortable topic in our nation. It's an uncomfortable topic because we have a not so good history with the subject. A civil war was fought in part because of slavery. Thankfully, slavery is not a problem in our nation anymore, right? No more slave auctions, no more people being brought over on boats, thanks be to God, all that is over. Well, we'd like to say slavery doesn't exist in our nation anymore, but look a little more closely. Did anyone go and buy a Mega Millions ticket last week? The $1.6 billion dollar jackpot? Did you see the lines of people waiting to buy tickets? Why were they buying them? Some of them just wanted to be rich. Some of the people in those lines, if you talk to them, were there because they needed to win the lotto to get out of debt. They had crushing debt, and that was their one way of getting out from under it. They work 60, 80 hours a week just to get by, and it's not enough. And they are slaves to their debt. speak to other people who are in those lines, and some of them will say, well, I just have to. I just have to. Anytime there's a jackpot like this, I have to. And I go to the Indian casinos on a regular basis, and I buy scratch-off tickets, and they're addicted to gambling. And they're actually slaves to it. Our nation faces an opioid crisis. People of all ages, all socioeconomic statuses, addicted to pain medications. But it's not just opioids, illegal drugs, alcohol. We have people in our nation who are addicted to drugs and alcohol, and if you've ever spoken to some of these folks, they are a slave to their addiction. Then there are these things. Do you know anybody who first thing in the morning turns on their phone and checks their social media? Only stops checking their social media because they are in school or at work and they'd get in trouble if they were to do it and be seen doing it. As soon as they get out of school or out of work, the phone's back on and they're checking their social media accounts and they spend all their free time doing it. I pick on social media, but I could just as easily pick on those who play Fortnite, the video game. And they wind up being slaves to that because every waking moment is spent either on their social media accounts, playing Fortnite, whatever it might be. Institutional slavery as existed in our nation 200 years ago is over. But we have a society full of people enslaved to all kinds of things. We either don't know it or don't want to admit it. It was exactly the same for the Jews in Jesus' day. These wonderful, wonderful people. What did they say? Jesus says to them, 
you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, what? What they say? You all have their lesson in front of you. It's not like you have, don't have an opportunity to look up the answer. Gee, it's an open book quiz. <gasps> we are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. <coughs> oh, you know, you didn't hear the word bull muttered underneath that? Uh, <laughs> bull. We've never been enslaved to anyone. What's the defining event in Jewish history in the Old Testament? The Exodus, where God brings them out of what in Egypt? Slavery. We've never been enslaved by anyone. Either they forgot their history, or they were blind. Because they were all but enslaved at that point. Their nation was occupied by Rome. Their holiest place in their entire nation, the temple in Jerusalem, had a Roman garrison next door to it with a tower tall enough that from the top of the tower you could see everything that went on in the temple. They could be forced, according to Roman law, to carry a Roman citizen's belongings for one mile simply because the Roman citizen wanted them to do it. They could be executed for virtually nothing beaten within an inch of their lives on a whim. And everything but name, they were slaves then, too. They just didn't want to admit it. It's like people nowadays. The person who is addicted to drugs or alcohol does not want to admit it. The person enslaved by gambling, by social media, by pornography, by video games, whatever it might be, they don't want to admit it. The truth is, we are all beholden to someone or something. Jesus says, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. Now, if you do not sin, you may be excused for the rest of the service. Now's your chance. Yeah. That's the thing. We all sin. And please note, I'm standing here too. I'm still here. We all sin. We're all enslaved by it. None of us lives the life we want to live, the way we want to live it, because something, someone else controls us. And that could be a cause for despair. That could be a reason for angst and depression. But it's not. Because Jesus doesn't just say everyone who sins is a slave to sin. He says, if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. That's why Christ Jesus came. That's why, what? Less than two months from now, we will be back here celebrating Christmas. We'll be back here celebrating Christmas. When Jesus Christ left his throne in heaven and came to us. To be with us, to live as us, and to die. Christ Jesus came that you would be free. He died to guarantee that you are free. And in Him comes liberation from all that would enslave, all that would ensnare you. In Him comes freedom from sin. 
forgiveness of sins, life, and salvation in Christ Jesus belongs to you. In Him comes strength to resist temptation. Come strength to help us throw off the shackles of addiction, enslavement to whatever it might be. He gives you the strength. He gives you the power. In Him lies the ability to be free from all that would enslave you, all that would ensnare you. It's not yours because of anything you do, anything you say. It is a free gift of God's grace given to you in love for Jesus' sake. St. Paul says, What then becomes of our boasting? It is excluded. By what kind of law? By a law of works? No. By the law of faith. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Christ Jesus, the Son, has set you free. And you are free indeed. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, Guard and keep your hearts and minds through faith in Christ Jesus unto life everlasting. Amen.